Well, this is it, everybody. This is the final, the end. Today, we are leaving this planet. Oh, come on. <laughs> we are leaving this terrible planet. We're getting off this rock. It's not even a rock. It's sand. It's nothing but sand. Not even sand. You know, we couldn't even get sand on this planet. It's dust. Nothing but dust. And I'm allergic to dust. No, I'm not. <laughs> but ma could you imagine... Getting stranded on a planet of dust and you're allergic to dust, that would be that would be the worst. But do not cry, everybody, do not fear. We had a good run. Um Well you can cry if you want, I'll drink your tears. I'm I'm thirsty. I gotta gotta stay hydrated here. Although you probably have salty tears, don't you? Do you have salty tears? Yeah, they they would be salty, wouldn't they? It's okay, you can keep your salty tears, I don't want them. All right, <laughs> so I got to stop wasting time here. We got a lot to do today. There's still a couple quests we didn't finish, particularly this one. <laughs> um, the sludge did work. We got the sewage, and we can get the meat and the pink slime just by killing cows with this thing we set up last time. So we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, but we're also going to be fighting the dragon today, and we have to do some preparation for that. I've already begun... A little bit. Look at this. Oh ho ho! <laughs> I got a plan, guys. We have a secret weapon, but he he still needs a little bit of preparation yet. Um, and we got to prepare ourselves. So, yeah, let's get to it. I think what we'll do with this cow thing. I'm gonna be really lazy here. <laughs> Um, rather than like trying to find some clever way of moving the cows down here from from up here, because this is where the mob spawner is, we're just going to take this thing. That's the great thing about Mine Factory Reloaded. Everything fits in a single machine. <laughs> you can just take it with you. Piece of cake. Um, we will plant it around here somewhere. Let's try to put it maybe in the middle, actually. Middle-ish. Actually, I have the glass back there. I don't need something to place it against. There we go. Oh, it actually keeps the, the contents, too. I didn't know that. Alright, so we'll just hook up energy and and mob essence to it directly. But then the cows are going to end up all over the place. So I do want to try one thing here. There is something in Pneumaticraft I wanted to try throughout this series, and I never did. There is, like, a vacuum tube. Do I need a vacuum pump? Oh, I bet you I do. Air grate tube. This will attract or repel any entity. So we got to attract, and we need a vacuum pump to do that, I guess. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make one of these and one of these. All right, here is the vacuum pump. Do I give it charcoal? Is that how it works? Or does, oh, does it convert air pressure? Oh, that's cool. So it's got one gauge for the one pressure and then the negative gauge. I see. So let me very lazily <laughs> just tap into the road here. And I'm not even going to run it underground. We're going above ground. Because it really doesn't matter anymore. All right. Go to that. That's the plus side. Oh yeah, we need the air grate for it to do something, right? And... not looking good. <laughs> uh, do I need to read? I might need to read some stuff. Okay, so this is at zero right now. Th I'm guessing that's the negative pressure. Let's see what the information has to say. This machine is used to achieve a vacuum to do this. This machine uses pressurized air. Apply pressurized air at the plus tube which is what we did. That pressure is very low right now, too, I think because we just added those tubes. They need a while to, to fill up with pressure. And when 2.0 bars is reached, air at the negative tube will suck. Oh, okay, so it's got to get up to here. I see, I see. Oh, we're getting pulled in! Ah, it's like a black hole! <laughs> oh... Yeah, it, it's struggling super hard. So what we'll do instead... Let's get rid of this. Terrible idea. It takes a lot of power to run this stuff. 
Uh, what we'll do is get a couple advanced tubes over here. Got a couple of these just laying around still. And since it's a temporary setup, we will do it like this. Bring over a cell. Power these. And now it should have a lot of pressure. That will explode, <laughs> probably. Actually, this machine will explode at 5, too. I forgot about that. Okay, I'm doing something wrong here. I must be. This is just... This is too sad and pathetic to be true. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay, that's got pressure now. I gotta seal the end. That's what it is. Nah, even with the end sealed, it's the same. So I think the vacuum pump just loses a lot of efficiency or something in the conversion. This is about as good as it's gonna get. With two of these running at full power, <laughs> I will say crazy so I guess let's just turn this on and, and get it get it done with I could waste all day on this if I'm not careful all right so that's going yeah hey we got our first cow can this thing see it is it close enough so far no cow death there we go yeah <laughs> all right cool okay so that quest is gonna take a while <laughs> While we wait on it, let me tell you guys about the secret weapon here. Uh, I'm just adding one more thing to them. Let's do that. Oh, I need the GPS too. Alright, so this guy, he's going to be like a finisher to the dragon fight. If it's dragging on and getting boring, I'll use him. Or if I'm about to die, he might just save us uh, before it's too late. Do that. Okay. Export. Okay, good. So what he's going to do, when I put him down, he's going to try to pick up an item. So I'm going to throw a sword on the ground for him. And then he's going to go attack ev every entity except for me. So he's got the app player tag over there. At the coordinates of 100, 100 to negative 100, negative 100, basically. So... <laughs> I'm hoping this works. There's a lot of factors that could go wrong here. I'm, this is not a guarantee, so I also have to prepare myself. Um, but let's head on over here. See, check our coordinates. We're just about within range. Yeah, so I set this guy up in the main world here. I can't exactly program him when we go to the end, so I'm hoping it works. But yeah, he, he, he detects an entity. Let's pretend that's the Ender Dragon. It's trying to get away. And there we go. <laughs> Dead. He did it. Oh, he's after his next target already. Blood, Bloodthirsty guy here. So, the idea is... I should be able to, like, throw him a sword. And then when I place him... He'll take that sword and then use it to kill the dragon. Because on his own, without a sword, he's he's pretty weak. He needs a... A little extra power. So you should be able to one-shot this guy now. Bam! <laughs> awesome. Now, there's a lot of things that couldn't go wrong, though, as I said. Like, you could run out of uh, air pressure, or maybe he can't keep up to the Ender Dragon. Like, he can't even chase down a villager, it looks like. So we're going to have to upgrade him quite a bit for him to, ha to stand a chance, even. All right, so a couple cows got out. It's all good, though. Every now and then they walk in front of the the killer machine. <laughs> uh, right now it's it's out of mob juice. I have to refill it. But we are on the way. 33%. The vacuum is way too inefficient. I shut it off. Um, hey, you. You're where I want to be right now. Could you, could you move, maybe? I got a fruit picker and a... Fertilizer. I don't know if they work together. Oh. Auto pick the apples, please, and grow them quickly. No. Okay, it doesn't actually speed up apple growth. Just the tree itself. Okay, so here's our secret weapon. Uh, we can access his inventory, and then it says this. We got these different upgrade options. 
Uh, this one makes them immune to liquids. And this one, the volume upgrade, this is the one we want for sure. Increases volume by a thousand millibuckets. I think we can put at least 10 in, maybe even more. I'm going to try 20. And speed upgrades. Per speed upgrade inserted, the moving speed of the drone will be will increase by 10% of its original moving speed. You can have up to 10 upgrades, so that he'll be twice as fast, I guess. Which we definitely want. He's got to be able to keep up to the Ender Dragon. And this is the other one I wanted, but we need apples for it. Um, gives him regen and uh, more life, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I got it working. This is just regular oak trees. It chops it down and we get apples from it. Right? Are we still getting apples? Yeah, little by little we're getting a few apples. Okay, so that's going now. Let's go try out the new drone. See what he's capable of. 3.3 is where he's stabilized. Okay, placing cow. We'll go far away and just see how quick this guy is now. Alright, give him our sword. Don't lose that sword, I need it. And he is still pretty slow. <laughs> A lot faster though, he's definitely twice the speed at least, but I don't think he can keep up with the dragon. But we'll see. Um, oh, he's going after something else. So he had 3.3 bars. Let's see where he's at now that he's flown for a while. Uh, where did he go? There he is. Oh, he's still at 3.3. Okay, so he's using... Or he has way more air pressure in him now because of the volume upgrades. So from what I understand, there is no actual end island like we're not really supposed to go to the end in this <laughs> and there's no end island it's just the dragon and like a platform you start on but there's a good chance we're not gonna be in the right place so we're gonna try out these angel blocks from what I've read you can place these in mid-air which is probably gonna come in handy <laughs> um, here actually we can do it like this right yeah let's make a few of these we'll, we'll test it out I've never seen these before actually so let's get in our jetpack. We have three jetpacks made too, so if we run out of juice, we can use another one. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty cool. Easy to break. Very good. So if I ever need to like just stand <laughs> stand there, if I lose my platform, just place one down and we're good to go. So probably make a few of those. All right, it's nighttime here. We have a killing quest to complete we have to kill what is it a spider and two endermen yet to finish this one and it gives us a sink core which we need for another quest so let's get to it i still don't see any endermen around i've kind of been watching for a while is that one no that's a that's a creeper right yeah that's a creeper <laughs> uh just need one spider piece of cake it's those endermen they're hard to find sometimes Still don't see any. Uh, come on. Oh, yes, we finally got one. <laughs> I've been flying around for like three minutes here. All right, guys. I want you to... There's one. These are the ones that uh, give you weakness. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Last guy. Can do it. Oh, oh, he did it. He stole my stole my sword. Got it back. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> I hate those guys so much. The worst mob in the world. D did that count, or are those uh, cursed guys not actually Endermen? Oh, it did count. Cool. I'll take the sink core. And I'm going to sleep away the night. All right, how are we doing on this one? We're at 73%. It's almost done, just about done. Uh, let's try finish creating life. So we got this one-up quest to do. Did we do the first part? Oh yeah, we did, okay. It says we gotta make a shell storage. So 
Let's check out the recipe. I'm sure it takes the sink core that we just got from that other quest. Shell storage. Sink core, iron. Oh, piece of cake. Piece of cake. Although, I think I have to craft it myself, right? I can't have the, the machine do it, right? Can I do it like this? Hmm. There, we need some iron. Let's grab some iron. Throw those in the system. Okay, so this counts as me crafting it, right? When I do it like this, it better. <laughs> uh, yeah, awesome. That is all done. These are all done. Completed, completed, completed. You can repeat them if you want. But uh, yeah, 100% done on that one. 77%. So there's one that was giving us trouble before. What has gone before? We went to the coordinates here, but it didn't register it for some reason. Uh, I'm going to try again, though, just to make sure. This one we might not be able to finish, though. So we are 17 blocks away currently. Negative 14, 360. 360. See, I'm I'm kind of thinking maybe I need to update my crash landing because I haven't updated since I started and there's been an update for a long time. <laughs> oh, it did count. No way. I thought we did this before and it didn't work. Oh, and that added a bunch of stuff. Um, anything we should read here? Okay, so it's apparently the story to crash landing here. I just skimmed through it. It's not a, it's not a happy story. I'm not on vacation, apparently. <laughs> it's, uh, the guy was very unhappy with his job as an astronaut or whatever, going from planet to planet. They finally found one with breathable air, the dust ball we're on right now. And they went to investigate... There was some issues, there was a crash, 50 people died, I'm the only one that survived for some reason, and yeah, here we are. <laughs> uh, but there was only two seats in the plane, or the in the ship when we started. I don't know how they fit 50 people in there, it must have been like a, a clown car spaceship or something. You open the door and like 50 people pop out of a... A three by three space or something. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, is this one done? It's at 80. So there's this information quest. It still says 93% complete. It doesn't give us the full 100%. I don't know how to finish this thing though. It's, it says if you die and lose the map, simply generate a new world. It will create a fresh new crash landing map for you. Sinking to a new shell may cause Environmind to lose track of your heat and hydration. Leaving the game and coming back fixes that problem. Occasionally opening a chest in the ruined cities will crash your game. Yada, yada, yada. Basically general information about the map. Scroll to the bottom. There's nothing else to it. Nothing to click on. No objective to do. <laughs> so I don't know how to finish it. So we'll just, we'll just say that one's done, okay? So this is the last one. And it's at 80%, so we just got to kill a whole bunch more cows, and we are done with the quest. Oh yeah, <laughs> it is done finally. Let's claim our reward. I think we'll go with the 300. Not that we really need it. So it's just this one, we just couldn't finish this one quest, but besides that, crash landing, all the challenges are done now. Woohoo! <laughs> Those those quests were actually a little more difficult than I thought they would be at the end. I thought uh, I'd be able to do them in like a couple hours, but no, there's there was a bit to them. But uh, we got them done. That just leaves the Ender Dragon now. And I've been busy preparing uh, some stuff here that we're going to take with us. Alright, we got the Angel Blocks. We have two of these, apparently. <laughs> Why not take two? Got the Needle Gun. Tracking missiles, needle gun ammo, some water in case we need it, spare jetpacks, and that's probably it. I mean, it's a, it's just an ordinary dragon fight, pretty much. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be all that special, but we can have some fun with it. Um, let's get some water. Now, to actually get to the end, though, obviously there's no stronghold or anything like that. We have to make an ender cake. 
think is what it's called. Let's just check that out. Oh, I better be able to, to make this, otherwise I'm going to be sad. Two cakes, ender blocks. Oh, these are just ender pearls. Okay, that's not too bad. And I think that's a notch apple. Let's see, ender pearls. And each slice requires an ender eye, I believe. So every time you want to teleport with it, you got to spend one ender eye too. Okay. Do I have any cakes in here? I made those uh, life upgrades for our drone too, our secret weapon, so he's ready to go. Oh, snap. Oh, I need an apple. <laughs> Was there, it, there wasn't any left. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm glad I planted this tree. Please tell me one of these is ready. 50%. 50%. Are you serious? I need an apple? Um, I'm an apple short, guys. Grow. It's out of fertilizer. Oh, no, it's not. Good. Is it out of power? Oh, no. Just takes a little while to up update, I guess. No, no apple. I'm going to get a few of these in here. We should be able to get one pretty quick here. Um, the rest of the cakes, I think we have... At the restaurant here, there should be some cakes here. So we need two. One. One. Two. Good. All right. So we just need that notch apple. Uh, get that there. Good. Throw the stuff back in the system. And we have an ender cake. Let's head over to the dusty diner for one final meal. Say goodbye to the world. <laughs> oh man, did you see me jump there? I did one of these, like with the mouse, it just freaked me out. He must have been hiding inside here. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, and I, I didn't make the ender eye. Um... Whoops. Okay, let's get an ender pearl really quick. Should be a bunch left here still. Ender pearl. Oh man, that scared me. Blaze powder. Just about ready. Do I have any spare camel packs in here, I wonder? Yeah, I think you just grab these. Any camel packs? Oh, we do have two. And they're full. Okay. I'm going to take these two just in case we need them. All right, that way I don't have to worry about my water so much. Uh, let's have a final meal here. I think I'll just grab some carrot soup. Get charged up, and the rest of the stuff, can I pick it up? I kind of want to bring some food with me, too. Guess i got to break the plate. Oh, I didn't shift it. Okay. Shift right click and uh, let's take some rice with us too. So rice soup. Very good. So if I click this, yeah, it adds to the cake. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll stash the rest of these in here and I think we're ready to go. So what do I want on my bar? I guess uh, angel blocks would be good. Don't really need the shovel. Let's get our guns ready. Um. I'm kind of wondering if you can fire like two of these quicker because <laughs> they, they have a long reload on them normally. Uh, we got all our jetpacks. Yes, I think we are ready. Some food here. Let's get secret weapon ready just in case we need them. And here we go. Last look. Bye-bye, world. And didn't work. <laughs> So I've never actually used this. I kind of thought I just had to right click it. Turns out that's not the case. Do I need these back? Or am I not able to actually go now? Uh oh. <laughs> All this preparation. Come on, it's got to work. How do you... Oh, I got to read it. Aw, oh, did I just... I just destroyed it. All right, I gotta figure out how to how to actually use this thing. So here we go. I got another cake ready, and 
you know what it was you actually eat it like it's a food item apparently <laughs> and i had no space like i was full my food bar was full so i couldn't eat it so this time it should work let me get my jetpack on and here we go for realsies get our secret weapon ready yes it worked okay good oh whoa oh, oh what's these particle effects resistance why do i have resistance oh does the cake do that Oh, man. Oh, there's the dragon. Wait. Oh, I just saw it. Now I lost it. And it's gone. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, man. What is going on? My hearts are freaking out. There we go. That fixed it. Okay. So where are we? We're at 100 and 0. Good. That's kind of where I figured we, we would uh, end up about. So that's that goes away. So this this is a little strange. I think the Ender Dragon tries to hover around zero zero, if I'm not mistaken. So it's probably off this way. Uh, let's go. Let's go try find it. Still no bar. Still no bar. Uh oh. Maybe it's not this way. Oh, there we go. We got a bar. Oh oh. Go back. Oh, it's chasing me. I can't, I have no perception of where I am in this world. Oh, I'm totally lost. I lost my, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I lost the platform. All right, let, let me get, let me get to the land. I feel like, uh, someone out in open water with the sharks roaming around. Roaming around? Swimming around. Whatever. You know what I mean. In the ocean. And gone. Okay, so I think we'll have to get closer. I think we actually have to go this way and build a platform out this way. Okay, where are we at? Oh, overshot. Oops. <laughs> let's get let's get our angel blocks down. Oh. Yeah, I think we'll be okay now. Get some light. Oh, he's coming in for a swoop. Oh, this this is gonna be pretty easy, I think. Let's try the uh, lock on. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh man, that was. Did you just fly away? I think I just saw it fly away. It did. Oh, it's coming back. Good. And and oh, I think that was a hit actually. Oh oh oh. That was a really delayed hit. It finally hit him. Uh, oh, 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 he's, he's doing a swoop. He really isn't that interested in me, is he? Okay, we got another hit in. This is riveting. <laughs> you know what Notch should have did when he made the Ender Dragon? Like, make it so it actually fights you. <laughs> Instead of just flying around the whole the whole fight. That would have been a good idea, I think. Oh man. Okay. You know what? I think it's time for secret weapon. This could be a long fight otherwise. So I'm gonna get a couple more blocks down. But he's not the dragon has absolutely no interest in me right now for some reason. Although he's flying too high, I don't think the drone Oh! He's coming in! Oh, and I missed. Having two of these doesn't seem to make the reload any faster, by the way. And gone. Oh, okay. So I'm probably not going to need the sword. I'm just going to give my drone the sword. Did it work? Yeah, he got it. So if the dragon comes within range, the drone should start moving then. And that should happen at some point here. The next swoop. Oh, he's getting close. Yeah, look, he, he found him. Oh, oh, whoa! <laughs> oh man, I got, I got wrecked there. Oh, missed it. So I should have set a larger area for him to check, apparently, because he's not really able to, to get to him quick enough. Ah oh, man, he's just like hovering there, waiting. 
for him to get close enough again. Oh. Oh! Whoa! Okay. Alright. Drone is a failure. And I gotta fight for real now. Because <laughs> one more hit and I'm dead. Yeah, I think we should just try to kill it for, for reals easier. Woo! <laughs> Oh, go! Get him! Oh, he almost had him! He almost had him! If I could slow the dragon down enough... Oh, he's he's getting so close to it. If he could just, like, get close to the dragon for a second, I think he would finish him. He's waiting. And I'm waiting, too. Come on. Let's get the fight going. Now, <laughs> darn it, those speed upgrades weren't enough. He needs to be faster. The drone just can't keep up. Oh, I think you actually hit him that time. I think you got like two hits in. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so the dragon's down to... Wait. Dragon's down to a single hit here. If we kill him over top this platform, I think it'll actually make a portal. I'm going to try and make a platform for it. Oh, this is it. Oh! <laughs> oh, darn it. I was a little too close to that explosion, apparently. I think the portal missed, too. I can't see the portal. I tried to tried to kill him over top that platform so that the portal would actually form. <laughs> well, guys, I think that is the end to uh, don't no not don't starve crash landing. That's the end of the crash landing. Had a ton of fun with the series. I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, learned a lot of new mods. Like this this pack was full of mods I've never used before, so it was a lot of fun try out all this new stuff and if I did it again I probably would have done it a lot better <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing for for a big part of it and oh well had a lot of fun with it regardless and now now that I'm in my new modded series I have a better idea of how some of these mods work so that's cool um, but yeah thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this series and I will see you in the next video I upload, which is not Crash Landing. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.